Hey guys, welcome to TechTrix Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about Leonardo AI Photo Reel Update Leonardo AI Tutorial. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Leonardo AI is a cutting-edge artificial intelligence tool that specializes in creating digital artwork including images, illustration, and portraits. It uses advanced algorithms to generate visually impressive and creative pieces, making it a valuable tool for artists and creators looking to explore new dimensions of art and design. So on to this video, what you'll need to do first is to head on Leonardo's website. Simply search leonardo.ai onto your web browser or simply Leonardo and you should be able to see this website in here. Then right after that, you should be able to create production quality visual assets for your projects with unprecedented quality, speed and style consistency. So what you'll need to do is simply click on create an account which is no credit card needed. So once you have clicked onto that, note that you will need to be whitelisted to be able to sign in for this. But if you aren't on the early access list, you need to register below. So you need to add in your first name and then your email and then simply click on to count me in. Right after, there should be prompts that you need to follow such as following Leonardo Social so that you would be able to get whitelisted. Then right after, once you have received already the email that you are already in, just simply click on to yes, I'm whitelisted for that. And right after, you should be redirected back onto this page, wherein you have the option to log in with Apple, Google, Microsoft, or you could simply add in your email, your password. So if you have forgotten your password, you have the option to click onto this forgot your password button in here so that you could create a new one. And then right after, simply click on to sign in. And if you need an account, click on to sign up. So you have the privacy policy and terms of service in here. So, so I'll just need to simply click onto your preferred login option and then you should be able to see the dashboard. Now, once you're logged in, you should be redirected onto this dashboard in here. We're in onto the left side. You can see the tokens that are available into your account, your homepage, community feed, personal feed, the training and data sets, points and models, the user tools in here, settings, the fact and help, and the log out button. So here onto the homepage, since we are here already, you should be able to see the different models that Leonardo AI features. So if you use this arrow in here, you should be able to see other options as well in here. So they cater a lot of models that you could choose from to have your image generation process now if you scroll down here a little bit you could also see the recent creation that are done by other creators as well so you are free to use this as an inspiration or you could have this one as your models as well so you have here the search bar the different filters of trending new and also the top and you could also see the upscaled photos in here now let's talk more about this feature that we have in here or this model which is the photo reel so this leonardo ai photo reel update is what we're going to be using today so this is actually an enhancement to the leonardo ai platform that specifically focuses on producing exceptionally realistic and lifelike images so with this update that they have users can easily create photorealistic artwork without the need for complex prompts or extensive fine-tuning simplifying the process of achieving highly detailed and convincing results in their digital creations so as you can see in here this is its description. Leonardo Photoreal is our latest innovation, a powerful pipeline designed to generate hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits. Now, since we're going to use this, simply click on to generate with this model. Now, right after, you should be able to get redirected onto this page in here. So as you can see, this is the AI image generation page. You have here the tokens that is available onto your account. So this actually resets and it may take up until an hour to update your tokens. So if you want more, you could just simply click on to upgrade in here to see the different plans that Leonardo offers. We have here the free plan which is free forever with 150 fast generations per day, the princess at $10 per month, artisan $24 per month, and maestro at $48 per month. If you scroll down a little bit in here, you should be able to see the different things that they offer as well as the plan details. So make sure to go through all of these details in here so that you could subscribe to the one that you prefer. Now let's head back to the editing page in here. So 
you should be able to see also different options in here such as the number of images you want to generate each time you click onto this generate button so let's add in two in here so as you can see we have turned on already the photo reel so the default field is low and the row mode is off we have the prompt magic the alchemy the public images and the input dimension which is very important so you could choose in a dimension for your photo the guidance scale also more settings in here so these aren't supported with photo reel or prompt magic v3 but you can use this onto other fine-tuned models so let's talk about prompts in here so for this one you need to be creative in writing a prompt so what we actually do in here so that we would be able to create a very nice image is we'll need help with chat gpt in here so as you can see we're just going to ask ChatGPT to become the ultimate prompt generating machine. So let's type in here, create me a prompt that actually generates prompts specifically for AI images like this one. And when generating these prompts, please keep characteristics in mind. So we have here the different characteristics and the first response will be a question that will be asking you what your prompt is going to be about. So let's send that to ChatGPT and let's see what its response be. Now, as you can see, it understands already our request and it asks us to provide more details or specify a particular topic or concepts for the prompts that we would like to generate. So let's just type in, in here, cats vibing in the beach. So let's try to see what kind of prompts will it generate for us. Now, as you can see, this is the generated prompt from ChatGPT. So generate AI image prompts featuring cats in hyper-realistic 4K or 8K resolution enjoying the beach scenery. So we have also in here ensure the image depict detailed photorealistic cats engaging in various activities such as playing in the sand, lounging under palm trees, or gazing at the ocean. So the image should capture the essence of a perfect day at the beach for these fill-in friends, complete with stunning HDR effects and lifelike 3D rendering. So so we could just remove this using Real Engine V5 for maximum realism since we're already using Photo Real for this. And we could just add in this be sure to convey a sense of relaxation, joy, the serene beauty of a beach environment. So what we're going to do is simply going to highlight this and copy this one out. And let's paste it onto our AI image generation prompt in here. What we're going to do next in here is you have the option to add in cinematic, creative, vibrant, and not. So we could try to add in vibrant in here since we want to generate something that is fun and cool to see. So as you can see, this will use 16 tokens for two photos already and we have 150 tokens remaining. So what we'll need to do is simply click on the generate and let's wait on to its generation to be done. And as you can see, here are the photos that it generated. So as you can see, it is very realistic as per our prompt is. So let's try to see the other photo as well. And here it is. So actually, you'll have the option to delete this or you could download this image. So let's click onto that. Copy this one to clipboard and zoom and remove the background. Also, the alchemy smooth upscale and the alchemy crisp upscale. So we could do the same thing onto the other photo in here. And you could try to generate again some images by just clicking on to generate again in here. But since we've got already satisfied onto the result that we have in here, what we'll do next is we'll try to use in another prompt to check if it does really work onto other things as well. So as you can see, I have added already in here another task for ChatGPT to create another prompt, which is dogs enjoying a day in the park. And here is what it generated. So let's copy this one out again. And then right after, just paste it here onto our AI image generation. So make sure to update this onto what you want to remove and what you want to add also onto the specific prompt. So let's click onto this one and let's try out another. Let's try creative since we've used Vibrant earlier and we have received a Vibrant image. So let's click on generate. So this will use 16 tokens again and we'll just need to wait for it to generate our photos. Now, as you can see, here are the different photos it generated. So it is really a very creative photo wherein the dog is playing into the park so let's just simply download this so that we could save it onto our device so the combination of the right keywords and the power of the Leonardo AI photoreal update can produce really breathtaking results so to make it even easier for you, you could just copy in the prompts that I have added in here so that you could also create your own or ask ChatGPT in here to create or generate it for you to make it easier. And there you have it. You have learned 
how to use the Leonardo AI photoreal update. We hope you've learned how to create stunning photorealistic images step by step. So if you've liked this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and stay updated on more exciting tutorials and AI innovation. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on our next video.